日前，美国前财长亨利·保尔森在北京举行的记者圆桌访谈中，高度评价了中国政府在金融改革方面所做的努力，尤其是前不久央行完善人民币汇率中间报价机制的举措。Some people don't understand how much the RMB has really、uh, moved up in value, and so I, I think that there's a lot that's a lot that's been done, and as you're working toward Uh, a, a, a having the ruble be be a reserve currency, and when that happens, that will be very good for China. It'll be good for the world. It'll be good for the USA. It'll be good for everyone. And、uh, so I'm, you know, I, I compliment the work that the PBOC has been doing in in, in the currency area. 在谈到中国的经济增速放缓时，保尔森认为，相对于增长数字，他更关注增长的质量。放缓背后也有亮点。服务业和消费对增长的贡献越来越大，未来中国要更多依靠服务业和消费来推动经济增长。在他看来，目前中国经济存在着一定的风险，需要通过改革，更多的向私营部门开放市场，同时化解债务危机。What concerns me the most in China, it would be the debt at the corporate level, particularly when you look at state-owned enterprises and. And those below the national level, you know, the thousands and thousands of of inefficient, often money losing,、uh, state owned enterprises that are being propped up by bank debt. And so the so the so debt growing faster than the the economy, and then the municipal debt. So those that's debt is too much debt is always the enemy. 保尔森还表示，他期待中国能加入 T P P， 但目前他更关注中美双边投资关系的推进，这对稳定中美关系至关重要。财新网北京报道。